Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays, a pleasant Festivus, whatever it is you happen to be celebrating this year, I hope you're having a good one. Time to hit home. I got hungry on the way home and uh, stopped at the store to pick some stuff up. And I saw something that I haven't had probably since I was uh, a kid. And I definitely don't remember it. But we're going to try it. Fruitcake. It looks like there's a lot of raisins in it. Not a huge fan of raisins. I know, super white. Definitely not a fan of raisins, though. It's not terrible. Something in there tastes meaty. Tuna. Tuna. Cat food. I'll keep eating it. I've eaten worse. After all, calories are calories. Because the holiday season just always seems to be packed with stuff. Family and friend obligations, stuff going on with the Oddfellows Lodge, and of course, with all of that going on, the car trouble has to start. Or, well, more accurately, not start. Turned out to be the starter. After running into a gas station, I'm sure to get a soda and candy bar or something. I come back out of the car, turn the key, no start. Not even little clickies where the starter relay is going tick, 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 tick. Just nothing. So I call some friends. Let me see if I can, uh... There we go. Bring that down a little bit. So I call some friends. They show up. We start uh, trying to even find the starter. And of course, my car is just like plastic stacked on top of plastic under the hood. So even getting to it to revive my starter temporarily with the classic percussive maintenance... Hit it real hard with a hammer. It was pretty much a no-go. We got it towed back to the house. Next day, a buddy of mine came and took a look at it. Was able to successfully maneuver a tiny little Louisville Slugger mini bat down into a little gap in my engine and just beat the hell out of it with a hammer. It started up repeatedly, just over and over and over again. Figured everything was fine. Sometimes it just happens. Go to another gas station. Actually, to get gas this time. Fill up my tank. Go to start my engine. And nothing again. So that same mechanic buddy that came over and beat on it the first time uh, was actually kind of close and was able to come save me again. Beat on it again, started right up, drove it home, and the next day uh, I went on an adventure trying to find a new starter. If you follow me on TikTok, you probably heard all about it. Spent the majority of the day driving all around town to, to multiple auto parts stores trying to find this starter. And each store had different information in their computer systems about what they did and didn't have and which stores had it and which stores didn't have it. And then they had none and then they had one and it was just a whole big thing. We finally got it. We got it put in. No problem since. Really hope. Oh yeah, for everybody that was able to make it to the uh, the Krampus Festival, uh, I guess a couple weekends ago now, I had a painting that I was giving away sitting on my table where all you had to do was just like uh, fill out a little card and drop it in a bucket. Chose a winner, got that sent off. That was super cool. But I've been trying to take care of so much other stuff, I've really kind of neglected keeping my camera with me to actually film any of it. Oh yeah, so I did start uh, painting in acrylics again. I've been focusing on oils for so long that uh, I kind of forgot that I have a ton of acrylic stuff around here. I used to paint in acrylics all the time and like hated oils because I thought it was super toxic, which it kind of is. I mean, there are some health concerns with both. I think more so with oils if you're not careful about it. And I made a couple of cool paintings, but it feels like painting with like slippery marshmallow fluff, even with like additives and mediums. And 
and all the stuff to uh, change the consistency and and working time of, uh, of acrylic paint, it still just feels weird after so long. But I am stocked up on little canvases with which to practice and make little paintings. Yeah, this, this was one of my little practice uh, acrylic dudes. I was kind of proud of this, but it's still strange because you can see like all the sharp edges. Oils, when you make a brush stroke, it just kind of like melts into everything else around it. Whereas this, it's like very high contrast. All the edges are very sharp and clean. And it's, it's a different look that I'm not used to. I've been focusing more on like horror portrait type stuff, like uh, old school horror movies. If you have ideas, let me know down in the comments. What should I paint? Actually, as a matter of fact, are there any sort of specific techniques or painting instructional things that you would want to know about? Be safe, eat as much good food as you possibly can, and do me a favor, do something nice for a stranger, and don't take anything in return. Until next time, gather around the Festivus pole and air your grievances or whatever, and I will see you all later. Happy holidays.